For the three minute mastery from module two, heat engines here we're taking a look at temperature difference and how to get work out of that. First thing we need to do is have a little primer on the four laws of thermodynamics. So let's say we have three objects, A, B, and C. If objects A and B are in thermal equilibrium and if objects B and C are in thermal equilibrium, then objects A and C are in thermal equilibrium. And of course thermal equilibrium means that both objects have the same amount of heat and would record the same amount of temperature. The first law says if two objects are not in equilibrium, and if there is a path that exists for energy to flow between them, then energy will flow in an attempt to achieve equilibrium. The second law states that for any objects in a system, say A, B, and C, uh, each of them having a specified amount of heat, then an equilibrium state does exist and there is only one equilibrium state. And by that, uh, an example would be, uh, let's say that I have a piece of pie at room temperature, a cup of hot cocoa, and a bowl of ice cream. Uh, for specified heat values, these things would cool down or would achieve equilibrium rather at say 64 degrees rather than 67 degrees. You wouldn't find equilibrium at 64 degrees and 67 degrees. There's only one equilibrium if the heat values are known. The third law states uh, that zero kinetic energy means zero heat. Uh, this is known as absolute zero and it means that all kinetic energy has stopped. There is no heat in a system. Uh, Kelvin uses zero heat to equal zero Kelvin. There are no negative Kelvin numbers. It only goes down to zero and so therefore it is an absolute temperature scale. Absolute zero may be approached, but not ever attained or achieved. So if we think about a thought experiment, or if we create a thought experiment, we've got two uh, containers that are near one another. One has a lot of heat, their molecules has a lot of kinetic energy, the other container has very little heat, its molecules aren't moving quickly at all. Let's assume that there is a path for energy to flow from the highly energetic container to the poorly energetic container. Well, we find that heat will in fact flow uh, and over time there will be an equilibrium state. But in the meantime, while there is a temperature difference between these, while we have a temperature or a heat difference, we can extract some of that energy flow and use it for useful purposes. We can turn a gear or drive a piston, something like this. So for your notes, what I would like you to do please is write a few sentences about your heat engine using the thermodynamics terms that we've discussed.